Okay, friends, now we're going to try a Scottish ale. I really love Scottish ales. They're interesting. They are malt-focused, and they contain roasted barley, which can give this smoky, dry character to the beer. And they also use kettle caramelization, which will give the beer a sort of sweet taste. So you've got this smoky, sweet, malty beer. It's really good, in my opinion. So we're going to be drinking a Bellhaven Scottish Ale. I've had this before, and I remember the last time I had it, I didn't feel it was typical to the style in terms of appearance. It was a little uh, light for the style. I think it was a light gold, and these are typically a dark gold to light brown color. Also, the clarity last time I had this was a little hazy, and a Scottish ale should generally be very, very clear. Now, I say the last time I had this because with any time you, any time you have a beer, you don't know what you're going to get. You could have an old bottle, you could have a bad batch, you know, so you don't really know. So it may be the same, it may not be. The head of retention for this style is, uh, it, it doesn't have to be awesome. Generally the head is going to be white to off-white. Very interesting. I would say that that is not a light gold, wouldn't you? Um... There's this terrible glare that's making it look like my glass is all speckled, but it is clean glass. And this is, it, it is very, very clear. And you can just see the carbonation forming this very tight, uh, off-white head. And it is, I'd say, a medium amber, a dark, yeah, like a medium amber color. And uh, that's more typical than what we saw last time we drank this. I did smell it already, and it's got a very interesting smoky honey smell, which, again, I would say would be typical for the style. I can't wait to see. It's it good. It's, it's light, but not too light in terms of the taste. And you can definitely taste that peaty character as well as the kettle caramelization, but neither is overly strong, which is, you know, exactly what we're looking for for this type of beer. It's yummy. It's got this great toasted biscuit malt and... You get that on the nose and the tongue with every sip. Yeah, the malt complexity, I think, is, is really great. It's, uh, it's layers of, of malt, and I know they don't use Munich malt for this, but I it kind of tastes like Munich malt to me just because it's got this rich to it, but it's not a dark malt. It's more of a toasty, biscuity quality. So what's worth noting for this is that uh, rich malty character that I was talking about, that's actually coming not so much from the type of malt, but more from the, the smoked, the roasted barley that gives us that peaty, smoky character. Uh, there Sometimes this beer will have adjunct malts uh, that will give it more of a darker flavor, but the main malt is a pale, a pale malt. It's a pale base malt. Uh, Mouthfeel for this before I finish the last drop. It's uh, it's got great carbonation, which isn't generally necessary for. This style doesn't have to be super carbonated, and this is not super carbonated, but it's it's bubbly, and it's got this nice creamy smoothness to it, which is typical for the style. Yeah, it's got a nice creamy finish, especially. It goes in your throat nice and smooth. And just every time you drink, I just love the way the aroma 
and the taste just blend together seamlessly into this nice, like I was saying before, sort of honey smoky flavor. I would almost say it's like toast and honey by the campfire. It's good. Recommend it. Cheers.